When you think of love and romance, one of the places in the world you think about is Venice, Italy. Unfortunately, Venice is not all it seems anymore. Its richness of art and architecture are unbelievable, but cracks are starting to form from climate change, which affects the water levels in the canals. To the waste and dog poo on the streets, to the rudeness of some workers, there are 2,700 ratings on TripAdvisor, ranging from terrible to average. Just do not go there. Why you should never visit Venice, Italy. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything we post. The pros. Before I tell you why you should never visit Venice, Italy, and allow you to decide for yourself, I first want to tell you the indisputable truth about what is still worthwhile in Venice under the right conditions. Obviously, the first to spring to mind is the famous canals upon which you can take gondola rides. This leaves you with a feeling of romance and awe. There are more than 1,200 restaurants. Their food ranges from exquisite to bad. It is bad manners to sit at a table without ordering, even if you are old and tired. When the tourists are not trampling you to death, some of the finest art and architecture in the world can be viewed in Venice. The Basilica di San Marco's impressive architecture is still worth the visit for most people. Venice's magnificent basilica was consecrated in 832 AD as an ecclesiastical building to house the remains of St. Mark. It is also one of the top rated tourist attractions in Venice. Piazza San Marco, St. Mark's Square. This vast expanse is Venice's largest square and is made to seem almost intimate by the elegant uniformity of its architecture on three sides. But more than its architectural beauty, St. Mark's Square is kind of Venice's living room, the place everybody gathers and just passes through on their way to work or play. Other places you need to visit if you are not afraid of the global health situation are Palazzo Ducal, Doge's Palace, and Bridge of Sighs, Canal Grande, Grand Canal, Pont Rialto, Rialto Bridge, and San Paolo, Scuolo Grande di San Rocco, and many more. Why Venice is not worth visiting. Despite all of the stunning architecture and art, cracks have begun to show in the city, which is not really sinking, but sea levels have risen by more than 60 centimeters, or two feet. This places Venice at great risk. The aqua alta tide in Venice submerges the whole city underwater. Well, everything is still above water, but you will find yourself wading up to knee deep in water. Experts agree that things are going to only get worse. On March 15, 2019, young Venetians had skipped school to join the global youth climate strike. Try and explain this to climate change deniers. Other problems faced by Venice include overcrowding by tourists and the blasé attitude of many of its residents. Other than the problems provided by the climate crisis, the overcrowding of the city by 25 million tourists annually, 5 million more than what it can handle, is only going to get worse. 38 million tourists are expected to visit Venice by 2025, unless they watch this video first. Contributing 2 billion annually in gross revenue to Venice alone, over-tourism is causing international headlines regarding issues ranging from environmental degradation, housing affordability, and the destruction of the local way of life. One of the most dramatic protests by locals was in 2016. Venice's No Grandi Navi, No Big Ships protest had locals take the Guadeca Canal in small fishing boats to block the passage of six cruise ships. Plans had been announced in 2019 to reroute the large ships to a new dock in Marghera. The Anichem Fertilizer Company operates in Marghera, so imagine the smell. Protesters still argue for a dock outside the lagoon at the Lido, where heavy cargo ships used to unload. The Financial Times reported that Italy's transport minister Danilo Toninelli said on August 7, 2019, that cruise ships would be diverted away from their current route, therefore banning them from entering the historic Grand Canal. In June 2019, a collision between the passenger ship MSC Opera and Uniworld River cruise ship the River Countess caused injuries to four passengers. This accident renewed the call to ban cruise ships from entering the Grand Canal. Not only does it cause overcrowding, but there are obvious environmental concerns as well. In 2019, about 30 million tourists tourists came to Venice aboard cruise ships. That was almost 2 million more than the previous year and 4.4 million up from 2017. The overcrowding can also be dangerous. 
In her personal blog, rosywrites.com, a Bulgarian living in England wrote an article in her blog on September 25, 2018, about the danger of stampeding. The piece was called, What's Wrong with Venice? In it, she went on to describe her and her young daughter's scary ordeal caused by too many people in the narrow alleyways. It was the 2018 Venetian Carnival. They got trapped in Strada Nova, one of Venice's busiest thoroughfares. Thousands of people tried to go through this narrow alleyway and were pushing up against them. People were lifting their children onto their shoulders to protect them. It was a dangerous and claustrophobic situation. Rosie writes they managed to enter a hotel foyer and tried to get a room, but the hotel was obviously fully booked. Rosie and her daughter stayed in the hotel foyer for about an hour and then heard a rumor that water taxis were nearby and giving people lifts away from the oppressive thronging. Rosie managed to get her and her daughter onto one such water taxi for $20, and they were taken to safety. They and the other passengers were not even taken to the train station where they paid to go. They were dropped at the notorious, slippery, glass-paned Constitution Bridge. Other problems people complain about is the habit of many locals of leaving their trash on the narrow streets. The tourists have habits of walking around drinking beer and then leaving the empty bottles all over the classic city. Another issue is that locals walk their dogs and not clean up behind them. Those that did pick up dog poo would leave the bags hanging off handrails for somebody else to throw away. Comments by travelers on TripAdvisor.com As you probably know, TripAdvisor is one of the premium sources of information used by tourists. Here are some comments left by actual tourists about Venice and its tourist attractions. A tourist from Cologne, Germany, said the following after their visit in September 2020. Basilica San Marco closed and not worth to be visit for $5. Basilica is closed without any prenotation. Only museum and terrace for $5 available. Boring and therefore too expensive. Few tourists should bring in money for nothing. They left a recommendation of poor. Andre M. wrote a review in October 2019 saying, Nice venue, very rude service. Okay, the place is nice, especially the outside. The inside is just okay. After Rome and Florence, this will not impress you much. The one star is really not based on the venue, but on the rudeness and the personnel working there. You get better treatment just about anywhere I have witnessed in Italy, especially blunt disrespect and racism against tourist visitors, which, let's be clear, are keeping this wonderful city alive in this time and age. Especially Especially an older gentleman running the entry line for the non-reservation guests. Kara C. from Boston, Massachusetts wrote a review in September 2019. In the review, she says, Dress code double standards. My experience here with the staff was extremely disappointing and tainted the whole experience for me. It was a huge letdown. There is a double standard when it comes to appropriate attire. Women are required to purchase robes to cover legs and shoulders, but men are permitted shorts and teenagers can apparently dress however they like. Obviously, people are still going to go here. It's a huge attraction, but the staff here needs to get a handle on treating everyone, no matter their gender, equally. Photos are also not allowed in the Basilica. Tracy C. from Granada, Spain wrote a review in September 2019. Terrible, don't waste your time. Venice is mostly hot and they ask people, men and women, to cover their shoulders and knees. So unless women are wearing long dresses and men wearing their suits, please don't bother to go in. I have been to so many churches all over Europe and some mosques. It is fine to cover shoulders, but knees? Seriously, I would rather not go. KSU15 from Odessa, Ukraine, wrote a review in August 2019 saying, Bad impression. As a majority of tourists, we got a queue under the sun to get inside, but it was not a drama. The entrance is free, but some of the tourists were forced to buy awful synthetic pelerine to cover themselves with. Some were allowed to enter without it. For $2, that awful thing, which irritates skin and not ecologically friendly as they sell hundreds and thousands and trash them, remark, My dress was quite decent and below the knees. After you get the treasury, you pay again $3 each just one small part of the full tour, but no indication signs for tourists nowhere. If you don't have PhD in history, please prepare to pay $5 for a brochure with explanations. One should see the site, but the impression is awful. Be ready. In order to visit some tourist attractions, female tourists are required to cover exposed flesh, like shoulders and knees. This issue seems to be a regular and common theme throughout the bad comments left. Also, the rudeness of local workers at places, like some restaurants and hotels, is a a common complaint. One woman complained that in their tourist group, there were many elderly people. They could not find benches or anywhere to sit. They eventually sat at the outside tables of a restaurant and were asked to leave by the owner. In winter, Venice is very cold. It is built on water after all. And in summer, the humidity can be dangerously high for older and sick people. Although Italy is trying to improve the situation in Venice, they have to balance the needs of local businesses who want to make a profit and the concerns of environmentalists and older locals 
who do not want to lose their way of life. Things may improve, but for the moment, stay away. I hope you enjoy today's video. See you again soon.